What's going on? It's Bryce from Making Fishing Simple, and today I'm going to show you some effective techniques for catching trout. The first technique I have is using a spinner, and it works very well on trout that are either pressured or will not bite anything else. They usually work pretty well in clear water. I have a Panther Martin spinner, and this is a quite this works quite well. It's a flashy silver color with a little bit of a tail there, and once a trout hits this, they usually won't come on hook because of the treble hook on the back. So this is a good spinner. The next spinner I have is a rooster tail. Uh, these are one of some of the cheapest spinners you can buy. And this is uh, just a green and yellow color with the little fluff on the back. And these work very well. These are some of the best trout spinners I've used. And they're some of the cheapest trout spinners you can buy too. And here's a blue fox. It's a bit more expensive, but it's a very quality bait that I catch a lot of fish on. Uh, I like to get a smaller size than this, but this size will work as trout will bite bigger lures if they're hungry for it. But I like the smaller sizes. The next technique to catching trout is power bait. There are three different types of power bait. Original scent, natural scent, extra, and extra scent. Here's a type of original scent. It's orange colored, and there's the inside. And this is almost exactly what they feed the trout in the hatchery, so the, ha the trout get used to it and will usually bite this uh, soon after they're socked. Here's uh, some of the natural scent. It's a garlic color, and garlic and corn seem to work the best for me. They have a very strong smell, and the trout like that. Um, both show up well in murky water and they work really well since it's a natural scent. And here's the extra scent and this is a rainbow color and the extra scent works very well because it's a stronger scent than the original scent but it's pretty much the same formula. So when I'm using power bait I usually like to take a bit of it in my finger and you don't need too much and I like to ball it up so that it fits on the hook and covers the hook but it's not too big that the fish won't hit it so usually that's enough and I usually put two split shot on and cast it out let it float into the hole and usually if there's a fish in there it'll bite it within the first five minutes and you can catch them you have to be patient when using power bait though and you have to leave it set because the longer it sets in there, the more f the fish will think it's natural and the higher your chances of catching a fish. 